Hello and welcome to another episode of Arrow Bandwidth, the podcast series bringing you information and news about the latest trends, technologies and concepts facing the IT industry today. This show is brought to you as always by Arrow Electronics. We hope you enjoy the episode and if you do, please leave a review or rating on your preferred podcast platform. It helps others find us. Hello and welcome back to Arrow Bandwidth. Uh, you join me here on the Arrow booth at uh, Electronica 2018. I'm joined by a, um, a guest of the show from uh, from Microchip, one of our suppliers, and uh, Ivan. Um, we spoke this morning. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come and, and record with us this afternoon. Would you mind introducing yourself to our audience, who you are, what your role is in Microchip? So my name is Oyvind Strom. I'm the product marketing director for our PIC and AVR microcontrollers, so the 8-bit uh, traditional product lines with microchip technology. Mm-hmm. So we were talking this morning and you were showing me some, some fascinating products and, and link-connected services that, that microchip have, have released back in October, did you say? Yeah, we released a um, new IoT board in the middle of October. And the whole point with this IoT board is that we are taking IoT down to the 8-bit space, an an arena where you haven't been able to use really the potential of IoT for your applications. And could you just, for the audience that may not be familiar with with what that means of of lowering that entry to 8-bit, what what are the main benefits of being able to do that? So, So far, if you want to connect your existing application, you have often been asked to redesign your application to a higher end processor. You will need to worry about the um, security layers, you will need to worry about the network layers of the application instead of focusing on your core application um, that could be reading sensory data out of a sensor or or doing something else. With this solution we will take care of the security and the authentication into the cloud and we will take care of the networking layers for you. So you can focus on your application and we will take care of the connectivity portion of you. So, so the idea with this, this enablement or this entry point is, is really to, to lower the complexity of being able to, to get a device out in the field and prototype and, and really start to show the power of collecting data. Um, the board has has modules, I believe, that we can add various types of, of sensors, and it doesn't translate well to a podcast. But but Ivan's got one of these boards on on his lanyard round his neck. So could you just talk us through what you've got there? Yeah. So we have the I- AVR IoT board itself, and um, it comes with a temperature sensor and a light sensor. Uh, we have um, the Wink 1510 uh, Wi-Fi module from Microchip. We have the um, Mega AVR 4808 uh, product on there, which is an 8-bit AVR microcontroller. And we have the ECC 608 security module. And combine these three uh, devices will make you connect to, to the cloud streaming um, temperature or light data. But in addition to that, we have the Microelectronica bus supported. And that gives you a range of around 500 clickboards that you can add on top of this, and where we support the drivers in the MCC and, my, and MPLABX uh, development environments. So, those 500 clickboards. Yes. What does that translate to with regards to capabilities? I. So I don't think the podcast is long enough to go through all 500, but no. could you give us a flavor of what, what you can actually add on? So with the clickboards, you can add on different wireless layers, but more importantly, you can add on different sensors. So we have, um, we have a light sensor and we have, um, we have a temperature sensor on board, but on the board I'm showing you here, which we cannot see on the podcast, we actually have an um, accelerometer showing a three-dimensional um, movement uh, as I'm moving around here. So uh, X, Y, and Z axis. X, Y, and Z axis, and we are streaming those data directly to the cloud, and then you can read it out straight on the web page, which is called avr-iot.com, which, which basically controls this board. Mm. So, so this is something that I want to come on to. The board can connect directly to a cloud service. So, I think we often see maybe maybe demo boards like this where 
they'll they'll connect through say Bluetooth to your phone and your phone becomes in essence a gateway up to a cloud service but but with this board and the feature functionality that you have built into into that pack you can go straight to a cloud service that's correct we we actually have put a lot of resources into a separate web portal and this web portal will recognize this board uh, and it will ask you for the Wi-Fi credentials um, you enter the Wi-Fi credentials this will be automatically uploaded to the board and you will basically be connected to the cloud within 30 seconds from unpacking this board from from the box and people don't believe me when I'm saying that but we we are actually able to prove that and everyone that we have given this board to are able to do that and that uh, that gives you a fantastic user experience I, I must admit this morning I I, I was slightly skeptical but yet be, being English very very polite and then you actually you actually did it and and it was it was strange because I think for somebody who who maybe doesn't come from from an edge kind of background to see see something translate literally within a matter of seconds from collection of data on a board on a lanyard around your neck to a cloud service on a screen in front of you and if you think about the challenges of connectivity just even the velocity of, of transiting the data yep. it, it's just it's so simple that you almost think well, is this, is this a canned demo? Is this staged? But actually, yeah, I, I have to say to anybody listed, it, it was it's phenomenal. It just worked. So with the work that you, you've done around this, um, obviously yeah, seeing that instantaneous feed of data on a screen, that's fantastic. If somebody then wants to take it a step further, how easy is it to move from, from taking the data to that dedicated website, take the data to their own instance on so that's where I open the challenge when you buy these development boards for IoT how do you get them connected to your own yes. cloud accounts so what we have chosen to do is that we take this board up in the sandbox environment so you can see your data uh, but they are not they, the data doesn't belong to you so they will not be stored in the cloud when you have played around with the card when you feel confident for, with the functions and how this works we will actually, on the web page, have a button saying graduate, and the graduate button will remove this board from the Sandbox account, and we will guide you step by step on how you add this board to your own uh, cloud account. And um, this is a process that will take you less than a minute, and then the data will be streamed to your account, and you can store the data, and you can do the analytics on your own data. That's fantastic. The board and, and the products associated with it, they're not just aimed at a developer market, are they? Could this be translated seamlessly into a, a, a viable production-ready scenario? Or, or are you aiming at, at really just showing the power of, of initially collecting and, and surfacing data as information? That's a, that's a good question. Um, we, we call it an engagement board and a development board. Yeah. But the way it's modularized, you can actually get <coughs> from on our web page the Gerber files. You will get all the reference software. If you don't need the, the debugger, if you don't need the battery charger and um, the power management unit, which is also on there, you just remove those devices and you basically need the three uh, main devices. So the AVR microcontroller, the Wink 1510 um, Wi-Fi module, and the ECC 608, which is already pre-provisioned with the right um, security code for the Google Cloud service that is supported by this board. Wow. So there's no going down the road of development or proof, proof of technology to then have to backward engineer to make something production ready it's, you're just trying to make it almost as seamless as getting the data to a cloud account yeah this is as seamless as it gets today <laughs> uh, and uh, we literally promise you to be streaming your data to the cloud within 30 seconds wow within Within an hour, you should be able to recompile the code, add your own sensors, and stream it to your own uh, Google account. And that's that's the promise we are doing with this board. Mm -hmm. um, could I ask, have you, what sort of feedback have you had from from customers and partners? Have you seen this used in in any typical scenarios? Just just to give listeners a, a flavour of how they could maybe use and, and leverage this board. So it's been three weeks since we launched the board and the reception has been fantastic. Everyone loves the ease of use experience. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we see the first customers now working on systems where they are taking different sensor data and experimenting on how they can stream this data to the cloud and, and how they can do analytics on this data. And that's, that's what we are believe this board is for, streaming sensor data to, to the cloud and then letting the cloud and the cloud analytics help you to, to analyze the data and, uh, and determine what you want to do with it. Yeah, so that's fantastic. So you've got a modular approach, seamless access to, to cloud services. You've got a really wide range of, of modules to put on board that, and then you've got something that is going to be as close to giving you a, a proof of technology or concept that's as close to production ready as you're going to get. Yes, it is, it's, it's, uh, it, it is actually as close to production ready uh, yeah. as you get. It almost yeah. sounds too good to be true. Yeah. It's like <laughs> I can't think of any other questions that is tick, 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 tick in all the boxes. Yeah. Um, while we have you, and just mindful of time, um, just one question from from myself. I mean, it's been it's been a crazy electronic. Uh, it's been it's been it feels as though it's been a lot busier than two years ago. And I come from an IT background, as we were talking about earlier. This seems more like a technology show now rather than a an electronics or component type show. Is that what you guys are seeing at Microchip? I mean, I had a walk around your stand yesterday, and whilst there were a lot of products like we've been talking about, there were also a lot of actual solutions that were showcasing the use of Microchip products. Is and that's that's true. That's a trend where that we are seeing that the customer wants more and more solutions. Uh, we when we launch. A uh, new products today. We really don't really focus on the features of the uh, products, but how they fit into the larger solution and end market that the product is targeted uh, against. And you will see that on the microchip stand as well. We are showing end equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. We are showing customer use cases, and we are showing technology and products. So, so it's definitely an, a combo. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Ivan, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's fascinating to see that. If anybody's interested in in the board and interested in, in accessing it uh, and seeing how they could potentially use it moving forward, where can we go for more information? You'll find more information on microchip.com or if you go directly to the landing page of this device, it will be called avr-iot.com. At avr-iot.com you will find um, a link where you can both buy the board, um, and if you have a board, the, the, the web page will basically take you up and get you connected within 30 seconds. Just that simple. Ivan, thank you so much. Um, thanks to everyone for, for listening, and uh, tune in again soon. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. You, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to another episode of Arrow Bandwidth. If you'd like to hear more, please click and subscribe to our channel on your preferred podcast app, Follow us on Twitter at Arrow Global or learn more about us at our various websites, including www.arrow.com. Thanks for listening.